Let's go upstairs for a little Schmidt and spin. You just said that everybody's upstairs in the living room. Okay, fine. What about your place? My place is not an option right now. All the models are there. It's 12 models in two rooms. It's like a room full of hungry Russians. Uh, yes, please. Let's go there. What about just a little good old fashioned car sex? I can't do any of my moves in there. I like to improvise with my body. I'm like a sexual snowflake. Each night with me is a unique experience. Okay, so are we gonna do this or not? Cause I kinda need this to happen right now, okay? I mean, isn't there like a Starbucks bathroom around here or something we could use? What do I look like, a gypsy courtesan? Okay, I don't hear anyone out there. I think I'm safe. And I, I want you to know, that was the last time, okay? This is over. But we haven't even gotten to the cheese course. A little sharp-aged cheddar, mm -hmm. manchego, maybe some buttery gruyere. You sure you want to miss out? I just want to slowly peel the wax off your baby bells. What are you even saying? How about a little stinky telegio? Why is this working? I am so turned on right now. Or maybe some cream cheese. Want some schmear, Cece? You know what, Cece, you should go. Because if you have the strength to turn all of this down, do it. Yeah, I'm good. Hi, who do I speak to re-getting something removed from the internet? Yeah, I can hold. Want a party with Havarti? Fine. Give me the damn cheese. Here? You want to do it here? Okay, all right. What's the scenario? We enter separately, pretending to be strangers meeting in the bathroom. You want me on the can, off the can? <laughs> I just I just need to pop in this party for like 20 minutes. When I come back, we'll have sex. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Oh, no, um, I'm going in there alone. Oh, well, what am I supposed to do? I'll crack a window for you. Crack a window for me? What am, yeah. what am I, your sex dog? What am I? What if I have to go to the bathroom? Why don't you just give me a chew toy? Come on, Schmidt, stop being such a big baby. Oh my, are you ashamed of me? Yes, absolutely. 100%, I'm 100% ashamed of you. Oh, wow, what a revelation. Okay, come on, Schmidt. I can't be the first woman who's ashamed to be with you. Okay, look, I won't go into your party. If, if you go to breakfast with me tomorrow, in public, yeah, okay. Oh, really? Really? I mean, I can survive breakfast. I'll be back soon. Hey, Wendy. How's it going? You really don't want to be seen having breakfast with me, do you? Are we even still in L.A.? Schmidt, you and I are not together. We are not in a relationship. We're just having sex. And I love it. And I'm not going to be a prize that you get to show off. The guys are always just showing me off, and I hate it. Look, I, I want to tell people because I think that you are the dopest, flyest, smartest, ballsiest, bitchiest, truly terrifying woman that I have sexually enjoyed in a really long time. Do you want to tell the waitress? Uh, if I could have everyone's attention real quick, if you could uh, just, hey guys, call timeout to whatever, whatever, that, whatever that thing is. Okay, great. I am having sex with this woman Right here. You want to stand up? No. Okay, you don't want to? All right, great. I'm enjoying myself Im immensely. Uh, it's, you know, a physical thing, but I am definitely, for real, having sex with this girl right here to completion. Parkour! Hit it! Down! Hit it! Down! So Hit it! Yeah, it's really sad your friend's getting an ultrasound tomorrow. It's just so hard. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you using your best friend's medical crisis to feel my boobs with your face? Why is the whole world making love all at the same time? You know what I'm thinking about, Cease? What, Schmidt? That when you stand up, there's gonna be like a perfect imprint of your butt in the sand. 
that is what you're thinking about right now with your best friend down the beach going through what he's going through? I know. Then why would you say that? I don't know why I would say that. Why would anyone say that? I've never gone through anything like this. Yeah, well, I have. What happened? My dad died when I was 12. That's um. The only way to get through it is to get through it. You know, I had a cat that died. Don't compare my dad to your cat. It's a big cat in human size. <laughs> oh, wake up. Hey, everybody up. I got that ultrasound thing. We're late. Dropping me off here, R right in front of this obvious pickpocket. Look at the size of that guy. He's clearly new homeless. We're a mile away from the loft, CC. I'm not getting caught with you. I'm gonna have to run all the way home. I have my slippiest loafers on. If I were you, I would get walking right now. You're never gonna get home before dawn. Okay, look, I'm fine with you not telling anybody about us, but you cannot just call me at any time and just summon me for intercourse. I have no control here and I'm stressed out all day long. It's like you're ripping the side block out of my mental Jenga. I'm totally falling apart. Okay, Schmidt, you you really need to learn to take a breath and calm down, all right? We're just being a little spontaneous. Words that have never been used to describe Schmidt. Spontaneous, flexible, easygoing. I'm like a Marine. You're nothing like a Marine. I'm totally like a Marine. All right, you know what? Fine, I'm, I'm out of here. Take these and take care of them. I can get a tetanus shot, but I can't cure damage suede. Schmidt, Schmidt, wake up. Hey, 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 hey. What? Hey. What? Okay. what are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing here? Come on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What? Cece. Before we continue, I clearly have no control in this relationship, and I'm fine with it. Good. But know this, you're the one who broke into this apartment at 3 a.m. for a little bit of this Schmidt, so who's really in control? Shut up! Wait, oh, are you sleeping in dress pants? What, they're slacks. What's the big deal? Oh, Calm down. God. <sighs> look how excited Hector J is to see you. Yeah, I've already met Hector J. Oh, look, so. he's knighting you. Oh, no, please stop knighting me. Lady so... Cecilia. No, Schmidt, I'm gonna You leave. have entered the order of the I'm round table. I'm getting my bag, table. okay, I'm gonna get my... Oh, I'm gonna stay. Oh, damn nasty, Cece. Hey, great news. Um, Jess is taking a shower. Okay, I just need, like, a good, solid ten minutes. Eat this granola bar first. I want to try something called the horse trough. No, Cece. I'm not having sex with you right now. I have to get everybody in the company's name into a version of We Didn't Start the Fire. Totally fine. What do you need, like, 20 minutes? Cece, this... Okay, this is real work for my real boss, who is not you. Oh, I get what's happening here. It's because Ponytail called you a sex receptionist. Okay, a sex receptionist answers calls all day. A sex secretary... Mm -hmm does scheduling, light filing, basically runs the office. So, first of all, thank you for the demotion. And second of all, I quit. So I'll see you tonight. Did you not hear anything I just said? Oh, no, I totally heard you loud and clear, but do you know who didn't happen to hear you? What are you doing? Don't, don't, don't involve them. Oh, my God. They just didn't hear. Don't bring them into don't this. Don't tell me. Tell them. Damn it. Hi. Hi, guys. Uh, Harold, Kumar, I love, you. I love you both. Oh, the zany adventures we've had. But we can't go to White Castle today. Just can't do it. You're serious about this? Cece, is she bothering you? This is not over, okay? Have that team building research you asked for, Mr. Schmidt. Wow, what are you wearing? I don't, I don't know. I, mean, I found this out of the lost and found at the gym. I'm not really quite sure how sexy a 
secretary is supposed to be. Never had to do this. I've never had to seduce somebody before. If you're gonna seduce me, don't dress up like my Aunt Frida at Seder. Come on, okay? I will do anything, and I'll do it anywhere, all right? Even fantasy location, number three. It's been two hours. Oh. This is officially crazy. Also, I have to go to the bathroom. Just pee yourself. So you'd rather sit in my urine for the rest of the car ride than admit to Winston that we're sleeping together? Yep, absolutely. Don't even have to think about it. I don't want to ruin what we have, okay? Because if people find out, they're going to have a lot of questions like, Cece, why are you sleeping with him? And seriously, why? You think we have something to ruin? Earlier, I was dressed as a secretary, and I was wearing shoulder pads. So I obviously must like sleeping. Are you ready to run? I have my playlist already. Actually, it's Diane Keaton's autobiography. And she just filmed First Wives Club, and it's getting me pumped! I totally forgot we were gonna run today. I emailed you like three times. Maybe you typed G Moyle again. No more excuses. We have to train. We signed up for this charity run, and now we have to do it. Why can't we just donate the money? Why do we have to run the six miles first? That's a good point, but no, you're getting drunk. Oh, no, just like I can't go. I'm super hungover right now. Plus, she had a bit of a crisis. She accidentally ate a cookie what? because she fell on it. I am devastated. She's devastated. Well, why don't you come running with us? No, she you definitely... You can run off that cookie. Can't. You know it's what? Great. We will do come it on. tomorrow. It's I more money for it'll charity. be so fun. Ooh. I mean, that was a close one. Good thing I'm a quiet breather. I learned that as a kid, playing Who Passed Out with my mom. <laughs> my mom always won. Doing the couch. Doing the couch. <laughs> Nadia, American manners. I saw the two, two person in couch. She's not wrong. Jess, I'm really sorry you found out this way. Okay, but trust me, it wasn't some big conspiracy. It was just something that happened and then it got out of control, sort of like poison oak, and I just couldn't stop scratching it. Cece started it. That's... I did. I started it. Why, Cece? Like, are you trying to get back at your parents? When did it start? Jess, I want to emphasize that we are not dating. I can't stress that enough. This is just sex. Mm -hmm. When did it start? 1.03 a.m. February 15th. Right on schedule. It's two months ago. Two months? Two moons have passed since you started doing it. Why do you start talking like a Native American when you get angry? Two moons have passed! Just a quick sidebar. Uh, we've done it in every room of the apartment. Ah, uh, even my room? Just the one time. Oh, God. Mm. How long have you known? A few days. You didn't tell me either? Jess, just as a reminder, I told you seconds after I found because out. Because you're weak, Nick. Weak. Okay, I agree. Just chill and stop yelling. Jess, I want to tell you everything. What do you want to know? I don't know, Cece. How would I know if you're telling the truth? Come on, Jess. Are you seriously mad? <laughs> no. No. I'm not. I'm really glad you two are having fun. How cool is that? For what it's worth, I think what I did was really brave. Get off of me. Yeah. What are you doing with that basil, Cece? You trying to make it confess? Easy with the knife, Robespierre. I will cut off your weaker finger, Schmidt, and I'm gonna start with your pinky. <laughs> with you guys that. are adorable. We are not adorable, okay? We are just two people having casual, successful sex. My bad. All right. I can't stand this heat. I'm gonna get out of the kitchen. Ow. Ow. You should really stretch, Jess. Ow. You know, Jess, thinking that we're a cute couple is, I don't, it's kind of a turn off. How do we explain to her that this is just, it's just sex? Mm -hmm. What is that? Be that is shoddy workmanship is what that is. I'm taking you off prep. Go clean the garbanzo beans. I'm taking my knife. Be careful with that knife. It's from Japan. <laughs> 